Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today we're talking about Godzilla Minus One as a leader character. Should you invest in him? What are my thoughts? Is he meta? Is he not meta? All that, and maybe a little bit more. Probably not. But all of that for sure in today's video. If you want to see my thoughts of him as a leader, that was yesterday's video. I'm sure it'll be linked at the end of this one, or it'll be recommended to you, or whatever. But today we're talking about him as a leader, not as a unit. His abilities on the screen, I'm going to read it to you before you read it. I know GBL players, we are, uh, you know literary incl uh uninclined is that even the word we're illiterate you know we are not inclined in the ways of literature so i will read this to you it's called heat ray like most other godzillas that are leaders in this game the ability is called heat ray it costs four it has a 180 second cooldown now we've already acknowledged the uh illiterate but now the some of us that are mathematically you know disadvantaged like myself that means it is three minutes of cooldown and it steals 20% of the current HP of the enemy leader unit and 80% from other units in a circular zone. And then it will deal an additional 300 damage. It's a fun ability to use. I don't think it's very good, especially considering Ava 01 has almost the exact same ability, except instead of being targeted into one specific area, Ava 01 hits every single thing on the board. Everything. Everything on the board gets the 80% decrease. It is... It is not like in a specified zone like you just saw on screen with minus one in that circle. It, it, it one hits everything, literally everything, which is which is why I, I believe that this ability is worse than Ava one's. Ava one has a really good ability because it hits everything. If this hit everything, he would be in the same league as unit one. But because it's it's targeted and does the same thing, it it isn't, and that's just a, that's just a matter of fact. Also, for clarification, this does not have a, he a health steal. I know it says steals 20% and then 80%. There are other characters whose leader abilities also say steals. It does not give you health back. It just takes health from the enemies. And it also operates in a similar way as Kiryu. We have characters that have different wording where it will just, you know, take X amount of health and it can kill an enemy. But this says uh, of current HP of the enemy. It doesn't say deals 80% damage. It says steals 20% or 80% of the current HP of the enemy. This works like absolute zero cannon, which means if they have 100 health and you use this, they are going to be left with 20 health. If they have one health left and you use this, they're going to be left with 0.8 health. This is not going to kill a character ever. This is just going to get them super, super low. Ava 01 does the same exact thing except it hits everyone on the field. I'm not a colossal fan of the ability. It's definitely fun. It definitely looks cool. It's definitely interesting. We don't have a lot of characters that take percentage health as a leader. Off the top of my head, it's um, uh, Kiryu with the Episode 0 Cannon, Ava 01, Minus 1. There's probably one or two that I'm forgetting. May I think GM no, GMK does a debuff. Uh, someone else has has a big has a big one like it, but I don't I don't remember off the top of my head. I think this is more of like a B tier leader leader ability. Ava a ones is an S tier because it just deletes the board pretty much. This will only delete in a targeted area. So if all of your opponents are or enemies are clustered together, that's fine. Like that that's going to work out for you, but a smart player isn't going to group all of their shit in one spot. They're going to spread them out. They're going to try to play the whole field. This is not going to be able to knock them all out. This is maybe hit their earth or something. But when you charge this up, this can bring me to the next point. When you charge up the ability, just like Ava 01, you're exposed. for doing a, The penalty for doing 80% damage to a group of characters is that for the however many seconds, 10 seconds, 5 seconds, or whatever it is that um, you're charging up the breath, you're completely vulnerable. I don't know why my computer lags when this match starts. I don't know. Eldritch Disco. I mean, you're probably doing some Eldritch magic to me. Um, but yeah, you're completely vulnerable. Your, your lead's not going to attack when you're charging up the leader ability. So you got to keep that in mind. It's a big hindrance. I'm not a huge fan of leader abilities that leave you completely vulnerable and only hit in a small specific area. But it is what it is. We haven't talked about his stats yet. Um, he's got pretty good health as a leader. I mean, mine is rented at 32 and he's got 10,981 health. So almost 11,000 health. That's not so bad. His range damage is, six, is 650 and he has an AOE. So the same melee tail swipe and punch that he does as a unit, he has as a lead. And we love it when our leads have AOE attacks that does put them a cut above the rest. Cause there are some leads that are single target and have really shitty abilities. He has an okay ability. 
with a decent uh self like self defense measure so big fan of that big big fan of that his attack speed is 2.7 seconds that's pretty good I, I i like him having 2.7 attack speed that's good my biggest complaint with him as you know outside of his leader ability is his range is not the best there are characters like gamera and ultima that have like crazy crazy range for a leader he does not he the enemy has to get really really close for him to attack and you really range is the name of the game in godzilla battle line i've said this since month one of the game since ultima was in the meta right and if you're on my stream oh my god click restart repair my drivers okay i just got a notification you probably heard that um <laughs> range is the name of the game and he doesn't have it ultima has ultima can protect himself from far away he minus one has an aoe but you have to be really close for it to proc i i'm really a fan of his attack speed 2.7 attack speed is decent attack speed uh especially for a leader with aoe but i'm really really lukewarm on the rest of his kit overall i think he he's fine i think he's like a solid b low a tier leader he's gonna he's gonna be like an all right pick but he's it's a, it's another case of his leader ability is, is pretty decent but he's much better on the field so you wouldn't really want to run him as your leader because he's 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 a huge asset on the field you know like there's no reason to to make him a lead when on the field he is just like a million times uh stronger just on every on every level i'm i i am a big fan i i, I will say for as much flack as i'm giving the the heat ray ability it is, I mean, taking 80% damage from a character is really strong. Actually, while I have you here, let me go look at my phone because I have the I have the stats pulled up uh, on the on the actual app like I normally do. Uh, let me check Ava 01's ability because Ava 01 is a very similar one, and a lot of you guys probably don't even look at it. Ava 01's is five cost. This one is four, but Ava's is 150 second cooldown. Ava 01 steals 15% of the current HP of the enemy leader unit and 80% from all from other enemy units on the battlefield. So, okay. So for Ava, you are paying one more energy, but a, what is it? 6, 7, 8, 30 second uh, shorter cooldown, but for 5% less leader damage. This is the better ability. It You can get it, you'll definitely get this twice in a match for sure. You're doing less to the leader, but we don't really care about that. But you're hitting everything on the board. The differences in this ability are so minuscule that I would rather run Ava 1. Now, Ava 1 has piercing as a lead and a single target, not AoE. So I guess you're just going to have to take that as you will. I, I guess it's your flavor. You can do the same thing pretty much with both these characters. I guess it just depends on which one do you like more, Ava 01 or godzilla minus one i frankly think that godzilla minus one is way more fun on the field i would be making if i wanted to run this kind of ability i would run able one in my as my leader and minus one on the field but as far as his ability as far as where i would rank him on a leader tier list or something he'd probably be like a high b maybe maybe actually he'd probably be a low a he'd probably be in a somewhere and I only say low A because while his ability reads very similarly to Ava 1, Ava 1 hits everything on the board. You don't have to do anything specific. But minus 1, you have to target an area on the board. And if a character walks out of that area, they're not going to get hit. Ava 01, they can't escape it. Big difference. And, it, and it, could, it could really change the tide of battle, especially when your character is left extremely vulnerable. So this is what I got for you guys tonight. And thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.